Welcome to what I like to call the Swiss Chalets, the Keystone Outbacks. This one is the only 2023 340BH. You're looking at 38 feet, six inches, roughly 8,800 pounds dry, can sleep up to 10, let's just say seven to 10 to call it fair, but is an extremely well-appointed luxury travel trailer fit for you and the family or you and the friends to enjoy camping season after season. Because the temperature ratings on this one is zero to 110 degrees. What do you say we start on the off-camp side of the 340BH? Love the beautiful decor that we have here, the black and tan, if you will. You got that rustic wood top on your entertainment center with the telescoping TV that comes out of there, the large panoramic window behind if you just want to see what's going on outside, your Jensen AM FM command center with CD, DVD, and Bluetooth, plus the InnoFlame fireplace, which is the extended long multi-flame, multi-light setting, all giving this not only a sweet residential chalet appeal, but does a good job of knocking the chill off the air too. That's almost 5,000 BTUs of heat to go along with your 35,000 BTU furnace. Up top, you got barreled ceilings and a 15K BTU Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet AC with the Blade Pure Air Distribution System. Now, Outbacks are gonna give you a lot of things. Storage is one of them. And right here, leading on the wall to the master bathroom, is gonna be a barn style door with pantry slash ward storage because yes if you want to take the bolts out you can remove those shelves coming around the hyper deck easy to clean flooring to the campsite is going to be your super slide housing those plush comfortable recliners that have the cup holders you got the night and day shades on your windows the dream dinette with led light giving you not only more storage space under the boost but also sleeping space and yes you even got some LED accent lighting. So if you just want to leave on the night light, you got one over here by the bunk room, one under the booth. So if you got to come get that snack in the middle of the night, you can without tripping over something. And you'll notice too, that there's no carpet in that slide. As a matter of fact, what they've done is they've given you the same type of flooring that you get here on the master floor, just kind of continues that path over. The design makes the room appear bigger and since we have double slides you also are going to get island kitchen solid surface countertop drying rack on top of your undermounted stainless steel sink with the high-rise faucet and pull down sprayer plus those led accented sconces attached to the wood inlay here with our own separate skylight nestled in the kitchen when you're ready to do some cooking how about you do it with more prep space on the solid surface countertop decorative backsplash flush mounted three burner cooktop with that 21 inch Furian oven, drawer storage for your pots and pans, flush mounted high point microwave, which by the way, doesn't have the turntable. Nope, it's got that wave smart technology for cooking. So you won't hear that rattling and bumping around and you got an oversized 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge here to keep everything nice and cool and crisp when you're ready to do some cooking. When you're ready to do some sleeping or do some playing, how about you got the bunk room, which is the calling card of the 340BH, separated by that same solid door that you're going to get everywhere all the way throughout that includes that decorative black and tan accenting. Check out the play space that you got in here. Set up a table. The kids have their own eating room. They can play card games, board games, whatever. You got on the campsite, 300 pound capacity on this double over bunk here with the hideaway ladder, plenty of storage and entertainment space as well. Got holes right here to run your cords through. And on the off camp side, 150 pound capacity on the strut supported bunk up top and a pullout love seat underneath. That'll sleep too. Now, if you take the recliners out of the living area, you could probably get, you know, swap that out for a sofa or a hide a bed. You could get 10 people in this beauty. But what do you say we take a look at the master bedroom and the master bathroom? I gotta tell you, I'm just a big fan of the design, the updated decor. They brought a little bit of the brown back with this tannish, the black accents. I love it. I love the look. You're gonna love the features you're gonna get in your Keystone Outback. Sure, I got a coat hanger back here, but over here, let's talk a little bit about the construction, the HVAC. So you got the furnace, you got the AC, you got the fireplace. You also have a tankless water heater and you got a heater for your battery because the Keystone Outback 340BH comes with a Dragonfly lithium battery. You also got the solar flex panels on this one with the pure sine wave inverter. So not only do you have powered outlets, you can do the lights, the fridge, maybe even a TV. You can even do the ACs if you upgrade those panels and keep those lithium batteries. 
Got my command panel right here. If I want to check tanks, run out my slides, check the awnings, do all that good stuff. And when it comes time to get cleaned up, check out what I got in here. High rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Plenty of room in the master bathroom. Plus I got the press surface countertop, oversized vanity sink, mirrored medicine cabinet, storage underneath, even an inverted outlet because I got a skylight. If there's no power, but I got sun, I'd be able to see myself clean off in this walk-in shower with the matte black features, as well as charge my cell phone because the outlet will run off the power of the sun. Now in the master bedroom, something special for you, especially if you like pets, because every Keystone Outback comes standard with a safety pet kennel under the master bed. Yep, so if you wanna keep them nice and safe, or if they just want a cozy place to sleep at night, there you go. You also got strut supported storage under your queen size bed, which is nestled here in the front cap. And you're going to see long mirrored ward, side opening storage doors, cubbies on both sides, inverted outlets on both sides. Plus I got a 110 outlet over here on the campsite, pull out drawers. I even got windows with the night shades to roll up, get me a cross breeze going. But if I really want to get cool, I got a second AC, a 13.5 Coleman mock whisper quiet right here in my master bedroom. Chris, I want to watch some TV. Sure. Not only do you have your key TV multi-source connection, but you even got your mounting bracket right here on the wall so you don't have to mount it on the sides and worry about turning your head to watch TV. And yeah, that's inverted too. Great on the inside, awesome on the outside. So what do you say we go check out the outside? So here we are on the outside of the 2023 Keystone Outback 340BH. Let's start right up front. You're going to notice that BAL 7.3 auto leveling system, all seated on an extremely sturdy, oversized BAL Norco huck bolted frame. Got my twin 30 pound LP tanks, Dragonfly lithium batteries, plus I got my disconnect from Seaflow, which helps me if I just want to trickle charge the battery, and my Giggy Box if I just want to cut everything off. Beautiful fiberglass end cap that's molded around to the side here and sturdy. I got aluminum frame superstructure in here, foam core insulation. I mean, top is molded over the sides. Outbacks are well built, plain and simple. Got the magnetic, or excuse me, the plastic clip holding my anti slam storage door here. And I like what they did since they gave me a little bit more room, but they did it up and down versus front to back, allowing me to get those camp chairs in there, maybe even the table. You'll see right there too, I got my smart solar charge controller for my panel and my pure sine wave inverter. Key TV connection and power in case I want to put some entertainment out here. Heated and enclosed underbelly, solid steps leading me into the main entry point. Oversized Solera 12 volt awning with the LED floodlights, plus I got my marine grade speakers. True fit slide construction here on the cable slide. And you'll see I got, this is a double axle RV. So I got those nice aluminum rims on the Dexter Easy Lube axles. The great thing about the 340BH, I got myself an outside kitchen with over six foot five of clearance here on the door for storage. Not only do I get the metal countertop for prep, I got another key TV connection and power outlet. So if I want to set up TV out here, I can. Storage, just like I have on the inside. Oversized fridge here. Pull out two burner cooktop here, but something that I tell you is pretty rare inside of kitchens, an outside sink. Having that plumbed with hot and cold, extremely nice. Plus I got more storage there. Four by four sewer hose storage on the back, solid mounter, loud at two, backup camera prepped, tinted windows, safety sealed all the way around. Come over here on the off camp side, and this is where I got my main terminations. For my gray, my fresh, my black tank, nice large tanks on this one too. And over here, the second termination. Other side of the pass through storage. And you'll see that's a much better shot of the Xantrax sine wave converter right there. But I gotta tell you, if you're a family that wants a luxury travel trailer, you want something that's well appointed, but you still wanna go camping. You still wanna feel like I'm gonna camp. That's where the Keystone Outback fits perfectly. 38 feet, six inches, 8,800 pounds, depending on the configuration, can sleep seven to 10. Gotta tell you, it checks all the boxes if that's what you've been looking for. And the best part about it is you could pick this beauty up today at your local camping world.